Okay, so I've had a request recently on doing a tutorial on how to load VST instruments into Open Mod Plug Tracker. And would you believe this is the 16th take I've done of trying to do this video? Everything keeps going wrong. So if I sound a bit annoyed, now you know. In fact, I better just check my screen capture is still recording. Yep, it is good. So anyway, on with the tutorial. So I have a whole bunch of VSTs here that I've downloaded over the years. And I'm going to show you how to put these into Open Mod Plug Tracker. So let's go into, say, Organ here. Now, when you download a free VST from, say, VST for free, although I think it's called Plugins for Free now, or other sites like that, when you unzip these files, you're usually going to get either a DLL file, like you can see here with the accordion, or two files, the DLL file and a folder. Now, the DLL file is the VST instrument itself, and the folder is where all the sounds are. Sometimes in the case of this one, they put everything all in the same DLL file. Sometimes they have it in a separate folder, it's just done that way. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to load these into Open More Plug Tracker. Now, I have a folder set up where I put all my VSTs. So, we're going to go to that now. And I do it this way so I can easily find where they are. So, this is my VST folder. I've got several VSTs here, some of which I'm not even using anymore. So, let's take this one here and this one here, and we're going to put them in there. So, I'm going to go into the accordion one. And all I need to do is just get this file here. And copy it into my VST folder. And as you can see, there it is. Now, let's get... Redtron and put that in there as well. So because this one has the samples in a separate folder, just copying the VST file itself isn't going to work, so you just select both of these and copy both of them over. This may take a little while because there's a lot of sounds in there. As you can see, there they are. There's the DLL and there's the folder containing all the sounds. Let's go into Open Mod Plug Tracker and put some of these sounds in. So, over here where it says Plugins, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit so you can see it. You can see this thing saying FX01 and the Select button next to it. So I click that, and then New Plugin. I'm going to select the Accordion. Let's open that, and then click there. If we go into Instruments, it's added it to the list of VSTs, and it's automatically loaded it. Better just check my screen capture is still recording. And it is. Good. So, anyway, we can just click the editor button to bring up the VST, and there it is. Play a few notes. And there you go. Now, that's not the only way you can load a VST into Open Modplug Tracker. Another way you can do it, and I didn't know about this until recently, is let's say we want to put the Redtron VST in there. Well, one thing we can do is just drag and drop the DLL file. So, drag and drop that into there. Now, it doesn't look like it's done anything, but it has actually added that to the list. So, I'm going to select FX2 so I don't overwrite the accordion. If you bring up the list, you can see, there it is. So, we can either click that or double click it. Which is what I'm going to do. It's automatically loaded it. And just click the editor button to bring it up. And, well, there we are. It's that simple. Okay, now some VSTs like to install themselves into their own folder, so I'm going to give a demonstration of that, so we're going to VSTs here. I've just put them into this folder here, none portable, so let's try and install Ample Guitar, which I've already installed, although I haven't added it, but we just run the installer again, we can see where it's actually going to install itself. 
So that's not where the actual VST is going to be installed. This is where the VST itself is going to be installed. So you need to take note of that path there because that is where the plugin is going to be installed. Now I've, in I've already installed this so I'm not going to reinstall it again. So let's just go to that path right now. So let's see where it was. It was just make sure my screen capture is still recording. Good. Program files, Steamberg VST plugins. That's where we need to go. Steamberg VST plugins. There it is. I'm just going to close that because, well, it's already installed. And we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. So, alright, so now we know where the file is. Let's add it into more plug tracker. So I've already selected a new VST slot. Okay, so it should have added that to the list. Let's just bring up the list. There we are. So I'll double click on that. It's automatically loaded it into the instruments. And now we can play with it. Let's do the chords, because that's... I mean the stomach, because that's kind of good. I'm not going to use that particular pattern, because I hate that one, but, you know... not playing chords for some reason but you get the idea oh, of course it would help if I turn the strummer on so yeah there you go so now we're gonna learn about VST effects and VST effects are just like the name suggests effects that you can add to your sounds to beef them up basically so here i've got a guitar riff all made with samples and let's just give that a listen yeah it's pretty rough but you know i'm just doing this for demonstration purposes Generally, electric guitars have distortion and reverb and things like that, and this one is completely clean. So we want to throw in distortion and reverb and all that stuff. So I already have an effect that can do that, so we'll go into our plugins here. Now VST effects are installed the exact same way you would do an instrument. The only difference is they don't make any sound on their own. So I'm going to add in this guitar amp. And I'm going to add it to all of these instruments here. So this is how it sounds clean. And I'm going to add the effect. It's rather quiet this, so I have to turn that up. You can already hear there's a difference there. Let's select a different amp. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. Now I've just got to add these to all of these. Right, that's done, so they've all got the amp applied. Let's listen to it now. Much better. But we can do even more than that. Now, let's say you want to add a reverb to that. You've already got the distortion, and want to add a reverb. Well, let's do that. So, I'm going to come into my plugins again. I'm going to go into FX2. And I'm going to select a delay plugin. So, I'm just going to use classic delay here. Now, we want to route that guitar amp into the classic delay. So, just before we adjust anything in there, we'll go back to the amp and output to classic delay. So, I'm just going to bring up our classic delay here, so we can tweak it. Let's just give it a listen to how it is first. Oh, 
Okay, we can already hear that echo going on. I think a little less effect and a little less time. Let's hear what it sounds like now. There we go. Of course you don't have to apply effects to the instruments. You can even apply them to the channels if you want. So I've taken the effect off all the instruments here, so we're back to the clean sound. Okay, you all know how that sounds. So let's apply our guitar amp and our reverb to channel one and channel two. So soft amp GT and soft amp GT. Now that's still linked to the classic delay, so it will first go through the guitar amp and then the delay. So we're back to this. And finally, you can even put VST instruments through VST effects. So, I have an instance of Sign Play Alluded here. With the big band horns. And I've got MIDI Channel 1. Um, let's just go into the instruments here. So, you notice this one is on MIDI Channel 1. And this one, same VST, but MIDI Channel 2. That's because with most VSTs, if you can load more than one instrument into the VST, they will be assigned to different MIDI channels. So MIDI channel 1 is the staccatos, and MIDI channel 2 is the falls. And, well, that sounds like this. So some funky horns there, but... Let's go crazy, let's add an effect to that. So, I'm gonna select the next empty effects slot. And let's see what we can do with this. Let's just do something completely insane. Um, no, I think we can go even more insane than that. Let's see what we got in sorted. All right, yeah, let's just do a ring modulation with it. So, as before, when I linked effects together, we're going to go into our sign player. Just scroll down a bit. And we're going to output it to our ring modulation VST. Okay, let's just bring that up so we can work with it. So we now get this glitchy sound. So yeah, so that's how you can put VST effects and VST instruments into Open World Plug Tracker. And anyway, I'm sure this video has gotten like five hours long, so... Until next time, goodbye. Now, was that recording this whole time? Yes, it was. Good. So, 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 so,